parents just arrived from South Africa to New Zealand and in this video I'm going to take you along on their first seven days in the country as well as their first impressions. So stick around if you want to see. On the first day we woke up to typical Auckland weather, it was rainy and gloomy which actually worked out quite fine because my parents were feeling very jet lagged and tired so I was pretty surprised when they still got ready and they wanted to go out somewhere I really wanted to take them down to the viaduct and harbour area for their first introduction to New Zealand but I decided to leave that for a sunny day and I took them to a mall instead, yes I know very exciting but we went to the Westfield Mall in Newmarket we walked around the beautiful rooftop area and that's where the photos started already then we went to chemist warehouse which is almost like a disc in south africa my mom wanted to get a nail file because she thought she couldn't bring one over and the reason i mentioned this is so that i can share this website with you if you go into auckland airport's website it gives you a few tips of what you can pack in your checked luggage and in your hand luggage or you can even visit New Zealand's aviation security website where it will give you a whole list of things that you can bring and can't bring so hopefully this could be helpful to some of you and it's always good to get information from the source itself but anyway then we went to the countdown and personally I love visiting grocery stores when traveling I love looking around at all the brands and so I thought it would be good for my parents to see it they were a little bit more surprised by the price prices of the items though but it's fine because we did prepare them and you would have seen that we do share some prices in our videos and we all know it's not great coming to New Zealand with South African rands so we picked up a few items and then we headed home because certain people needed to nap again and that's including me because of their late flight we only got home in the early hours of the morning and then we still chatted and we were catching up so we were all very tired and then for their first dinner we couldn't choose anything other then delicious New Zealand lamb chops. So Craig threw that on the braai and it was an amazing first dinner. On the second day, the weather cleared up just a little bit, but it was super windy. So we all jumped in the car and I took them down Tamaki Drive. I absolutely love the views going down this road. You can look back at the city and you can see Rangitoto. It's just beautiful with the ocean. We stopped at Mission Bay really quickly, jumped out, took a few photos. We're in St. Helia's now and it's so windy. We continue driving and I'm bringing my parents to this viewpoint, Achilles Point, for the beautiful, beautiful views from there. Now we're at the Orake Basin. There's no wind. No wind. <laughs> Yay. It's raining. We wanted to take a walk. <laughs> so we decided to call it a day. We came home and just rested. On the third day, I could finally take them down into the city. I was looking forward to this the most. Going into the train station now to get hop cards for my parents. We got bus cards. Yay! <laughs> now we're gonna be traveling. It's $5 for a card and then you can also just load up whatever amount you want and then you just activate it by tapping your card on whichever bus or train you want to go on. I can actually manage those cards from my AT Hop app. And just load money on it from there so this gives them a bit of freedom and they can access the trains the buses and even some of the ferries it was really cool showing them the city i just absolutely love playing tour guide so we walked to the ferry terminals and further onto the viaducts and the silos unfortunately it was very overcast and a few places were windy so we'll have to go back on a sunny day but this area is probably the first place that all tourists should go we also headed into a spark mobile shop so that i could pick up some sim cards for them sim cards can actually be found in various shops and even grocery stores i decided to go with skinny mobile if you've been around this channel you know that craig and i both have skinny sim cards i really think it's the most affordable plan and again i can manage it from my account it is month to month you can choose whichever plan you want for my dad i put a bit more data on so that he can be the one to navigate them around the city on that note we found out that the spark telephone booths have free wi-fi so if you run out or if you're in need look for these telephone booths and 
just connect to spark wi-fi and that was it for day three it's day four of having my parents in new zealand and their first weekend so obviously we had to come to the hobsonville point park run it's right next to the water we crossed the bridge for the first time just another episode of bali's in our backyard <laughs> Bullies in our backyard. <laughs> Where are the bullies? Bullies. So dad's gonna walk. I'm gonna do the park run today. Park walk. <laughs> Still recovering from flu. We'll see how it goes. I'm going. Still a bit fluy. I'm going with the daughter. <laughs> After that, we went to find a South African shop because my mom wanted some future life. We couldn't find something that's similar here in New Zealand. After that, we went to pack and save with them for the first time. We stocked up on a lot of groceries and it actually lasted us for about a week and a half. So our whole trolley came to 290 and this food will last us for like a week, eh? A week and a half, I'd say. <laughs> what do you think of the cost of a shopping trolley? Expensive. <laughs> Terribly expensive. Coming with rands is really hectic, but luckily we're earning dollars. <laughs> So we just stopped at the BP so that my parents can see what it's like putting in petrol. We put in first and then we went to pay. <laughs> we found our new petrol attendants. <laughs> I think we had another bra that afternoon. And then we just took it easy because the next day was going to be a very early morning. It is day five. It's also the Rugby World Cup final. Eden Park only announced on Wednesday that they'll be screening the game. So we cancelled the other plans and now we're going there. We're on the train. It is 10 to 7 in the morning. <laughs> and we're hoping that it's going to be a vibe. It will be. When the box wins. <laughs> All your stuff away and check out for the day. There's no time to waste when it's 100 degrees. We had Eden Park! Won't you have a drink with me? Yeah! 
It was a good atmosphere and everyone and really had a good time and just danced it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. And really well danced with All Blacks. We are sorry that they got a red card. We didn't agree with that. But anyway, yeah. our blood is green and gold, so we'll take it. <laughs> and you, what did you think? Happy we came here. <laughs> running the marathon. Yeah, worth it. Yeah. Craig was supposed to do the Auckland Marathon. Do it. Turned it down because of the rugby. Are you happy with your decision? I am. My heart rate went, it probably would have got to the same level. <laughs> it's good fitness. It's already day seven and yesterday my parents just chilled, did some laundry and then this morning they navigated the buses by themselves this afternoon we're just out walking in the city again I think we're gonna head to the Sky Tower now this is the All Blacks experience opposite the Sky Tower we're not gonna go in but we're just gonna look at the, the outside into the city is to see this majestic princess cruise show it is massive i think it takes over 3,000 passengers finally auckland is showing off with the weather are you happy <laughs> happy 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 to see the sun <laughs> and that wraps up my parents first week in new zealand i can't believe how quickly time flies they've already been here for three weeks so we have a lot of adventures planned we've already taken them out to piha beach we did the mercer bay loop track so that will be next week's video if you have any suggestions of what we should do with them and if you would like a q a video ask them about their travels please put any questions down in the comments thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one bye Notes up. <laughs> Notes up. Is it day four or five? Five. And the price? Not so bad. Oh. Yeah. I can afford it. I'm sure. <laughs> expensive. <laughs> Terribly expensive. <laughs>